gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary. Trees in multiforms, it's time for Sleep With Me, the podcast uh, that's here to put you to sleep, patrons. You support it and you enable me and you make it possible. Uh, thanks so much. All right, everybody, Scoots here. And if you're new to the podcast, you don't need to pay attention to this mess message. You could skip ahead two minutes. Or if you get a lot out of this ad-supported feed, you love listening to these episodes, this message is not for you. But if sleep with me is something you look forward to every night, it's a part of your bedtime routine, if it gives you that special feeling, if sleep with me has changed how you sleep or has made your life a lot better, I want you to listen about Sleep With Me Plus. Sleep With Me Plus is something that's made for for you because we've been doing the show for 10 years and it's only now we're finally able to offer a subscription where you say, I feel seen. I mean, that's the feedback of all the people that have been using Sleep With Me Plus. They say, finally, because for people where Sleep With Me is a part of your life, some people you want to listen to the full episodes. You just prefer ad-free experience. Sleep With Me Plus has an entire podcast with just full episodes, no ads, no supporter zone, no thank yous. Maybe some of you listen all night long or you just want the stories or you want something with no music in it at all. Story only podcast. Just the story only section from episodes of Sleep With Me. Maybe you like listening to all intros. You want access to like hundreds and hundreds of all intro episodes. Got a podcast on Sleep With Me Plus with all intros and then all night compilations. Maybe you want to just listen to to, to a compilation of TNG episodes or Nuns in Space or Great British Bake Off. That's on Sleep With Me Plus. Or you want bonus shows. You love Fearless Flyers. You want exclusives from Ray. You want on location episodes. So it's all of that has been built into Sleep With Me Plus. And you could go over there and check it out for seven days. Just sign up for a seven-day free trial. See what you're looking for. See which tier works the best for you. But get over there. I mean, I'm not kidding. Every single person that gets it set up says, holy cow, thank you so much. So get over there, get it set up, and then let me know about it. Uh, you could do that at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. That's sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. Sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. And then please Please let me know about it so I can say thank you. Thanks, everybody. All right, everybody. It is time to talk about tonight's sponsor, Helix Sleep. And I want to know what mattress you get matched with. Go to helixsleep.com slash sleep and take that two-minute quiz and then check out which model of Helix you want to get because Helix has got this new collection, Helix Elite. They also have mattresses for big and tall sleepers, even a mattress just for kids. And if you take that Helix quiz, you can find the mattress best for you and your body or you and your partner body. And that personalized mattress is shipped straight to your door free of charge. Helix knows there's no better way to test out a mattress than in your own home, in your own bed. That's why they offer a 100 night trial and a 10 to 15 year warranty to test out your new Helix mattress. And the reason they have so many different mattress models to choose from and that handy dandy quiz to match you with the right one. You know, they got models with memory foam for optimal pressure relief if you sleep on your side, more responsive foam to cradle your body for stomach and back sleepers, and hand cooling features to keep you from overheating at night and every helix mattress has a hybrid design individually wrapped steel coils premium foam layers perfect combination of comfort and support and like i said i sleep on my side i sleep on my stomach i like to sleep cool and that's how i got matched with the helix dusk i picked the helix dusk Lux, and i love this mattress i can but you you could find the best mattress for you by taking that helix mattress quiz set up as fast and easy come straight to your door delivered in a box for free helix mattresses all come with a 10 to 15 year warranty depending on the model and helix is offering 20 percent off all mattress orders and two free pillows for our listeners you go to helixsleep.com sleep this is their best offer yet it won't last long with helix better sleep starts now that's helixsleep.com sleep and you can take the quiz for free i don't know what you're waiting for uh because i'm sleeping so good i want you to sleep so good too so take that quiz let me know what you got thanks everybody support for sleep with me comes from odoo if you feel like you're wasting your time and money with your current business software or just want to know what you could be missing then you need to join the millions of other users who switch to odoo odoo is the affordable all-in-one management software 
with a library of fully integrated business applications that help you get more done in less time for a fraction of the price. To learn more, visit odoo.com slash with me. That's O-D-O-O dot com slash with me. Odoo, modern management made simple. All right, everybody, it is time for the Sleepy Supporter Zone. This is one part of the podcast, and we need you to hear it's where I pop my peas, if you please. I thank the listeners who supported our sponsors, because they know so many of you get so much out of this ad-supported feed that is free to everybody. So you might want to do two, like a finger clap along, since you're maybe already in bed or winding down. And I want to thank Melanie, who supported ZocDoc. Use that ZocDoc app, which is free. ZocDoc.com slash sleepdown. Download that ZocDoc app. Melanie was looking for a new doctor, looking for someone for primary care, and use that ZocDoc app. So easy to find somebody. And then let ZocDoc know about it. Let me know about it. Melanie used our link. Thank you, Melanie. All right. If you want to be on, if you want to hear, would you, would you love to hear your name here on uh, on, on the uh, Sleepy Supporter Zone? Support a sponsor. Take a free trial. Take that Helix quiz. And then let the sponsor know about it. Tag them. Tag me on social media is the best way because then they say wow people really love this podcast uh we really do get a lot out of supporting sleep with me it is important to people that's what that's what your action does and then they stick around and everybody gets to benefit by you that's why i take the time to thank people and i do it in an excited way so i can be here for you for free so yeah, yeah tag the sponsor tag me fill out the form at sleep slash sponsors thanks everybody the second part of the sleepy supporter zone is you getting the support you need right now uh uh, there's links to resources, including international resources that you could connect with, including right now. It's also about being a part of a community, being a part of positive change. It's not just saying Black Lives Matter. It's not just saying stop AAPA. It's not just saying support Ukraine. It's taking action, learning more, and then taking action. And you, if you listen to these, you know, I heard about uh, uh, Hand in Hand from RBG. Uh, it was one of her favorite charities. And it's never been a more important time to support organizations like Hand in Hand right now. You know, it started with only 50 children in 1998 and Hand in Hand now has six campuses and thousands of Jewish and Arab students. And Hand in Hand's uh, motto is partnership is the only way forward. Together we learn, together we hurt, together we support. And you could support Hand in Hand. You could use the link in our resources or go to handinhandk12.org to support the work they're doing. Because if you're listening to this, you know how important that work is. Also, there's other organizations who are supporting in our show notes uh so use those links uh yeah uh, and be a part of let me know about it thank you so much uh oh mystery bard a lot of people work really hard on this show who are they Mr. Bard, don't forget we've launched Sleep With Me Plus by the time you're hearing this. And if you're not in a position to support the show you, and you don't want to miss out on Sleep With Me Plus and all has to offer, sign up for our referral program. And as you refer people to the program, you could get access to Sleep With Me Plus to add free episodes and story only episodes. And you could do that at uh, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash refer. That's R E F E R. Sleepwithmepodcast.com slash refer or use the link in our show notes. What do you say we slow it down and get on with the show? Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. 
I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever is keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts, uh, feelings, uh, physical sensations, uh, changes in time or temperature or schedule. So anything on your mind that you're thinking about, anything you're feeling or coming up for you emotionally or physical sensations, but also, you know, you might work your second or third shift. You might be on call. You might have, you know, might, might have a lot of other stuff going on. Whatever it is, I'm here to take your mind off of that uh, and help you fall asleep. And and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to um, create a safe place. I'm going to smooth it, uh, the safe place. I'm going to pat it. I'm going to rub it down. I'm going to say safe place. I'm making the motion with my hands of uh, smoothing and patting. Uh, you know, just like it, like it was a... Uh, you know, a cushiony safe place. Uh, and we have plenty of plate. You say, well, I prefer a softer. I say, oh boy, I guess. So you want soft, medium, firm, soft and firm? I got it all. You say, well, you, I don't need, you know, whether you prefer soft serve, hard serve, gelato, yogurt, uh, we got a safe place that metaphorically fits the, fits the bill. If you have a bill, like you're a duck-based being, like you're like related to Howard the Duck, or you know something else, uh, you know we have uh, we have plenty of we pl- we have plenty of places that are comfortable. Bill, you know bills are no bill. You know you say okay, I got a bill. I'm a platypus. I say well, you're in the right place because I got a holy mackerel. So whatever it is, I'm gonna the way I establish it though is what I really do is I send my voice across the deep dark night. I use lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, which you've already heard. And you might be not sure about the creaky, dulcet tones, so give it a, give it a try. Uh, I'm going to also use, like, I have pointless meanders, uh, whatever those are called, pre-words, but before words were formulated, back in the, um, what are they, the prime, you know, most of my brain is primordial soup. It's been identified recently. And so some of my words are primordial words. Uh, like, uh, see, that's not even, a, what kind of, uh, that's not a root, is it? It's more like, a, and I'd say, no, it's like clumps of dirt. Like, I don't even have, my, some of my words are not based on any roots. Uh, they're just, a, uh, you know, stuff like that. Primordial words, uh, or word fragments, I guess, in this case. Uh, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents, I go off topic all the time. Uh, but all that is to kind of take your mind off stuff and help you fall asleep. Now, if you're new, quite a few things I want to let you know about to, 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 to establish some rapport, if possible, and to start the process of me earning your trust, because that's really what my job is as bedtime storyteller. And this is asking you to participate in something that's a little bit different. So that's a few things. Now, one, if you're skeptical or doubtful or unsure about this podcast or my voice or my manner, that is totally normal. I would say 95% of regular listeners had the same reaction you're having now. Because you might say, what's a creaky dulcet tone? Or you might say, "Who? Wh- wh- how are you going to put me to sleep? Or when are you going to get to the point? Or what are you up to? Are you sure you know what primordial soup is or fragments or what? And I say, no, not really. I'm not sure about really anything except for my intention, uh, which I'll kind of run through in a second. But first, I got to go off topic. I got to kind of stay on topic. So if you're doubtful, give the show a few tries. That's what millions of listeners have said. Well, it took two or three tries before I got used to the podcast. So you could just kind of see how it goes. Also, the podcast is not best. It's best consumed loosely or out of focus or barely listening. This is one of the few podcasts you don't need to listen to. You know, they, they have this thing called active listening. Then you can have pretend active listening where you're kind of listening to something. In Sleep With Me's case, it's almost like reflective listening. You say, well, my, you know, not, not nece- my brain's not necessarily calculating what you're saying, but I know your words are reflecting off my eardrums. So kind of just see how it goes. But don't you don't need to pay too much attention. Or if you're kind of waiting... 
and wondering when things are going to get started. They probably will get barely started uh, at some point, uh, but it's going to take a while because this is just uh, that's just part of the show, which I'll explain in more detail in a second. But the other thing is uh, now there's a uh, every day there feels like there's more and more sleep podcasts or sleep solutions. And believe it or not, you know, I've been doing this show since 2013. This podcast is not really meant to put you to sleep. It's more here to keep you company as you fall asleep. My purpose is more to take your mind off of stuff so you can fall asleep, like to kind of clear off the old, uh, whatever, like clear off that thing and say, hey, you pay attention to me instead of paying attention to your brain, the old, uh, you know, the, the more feisty parts of your brain that come up at bedtime or feelings, or physical sensations. I'm here to distract you and keep you company. Be your boar friend, your boar bay, your boar cuz, your boar sib, your boar bestie. You know, if you're in San Diego, boar bra, uh, or, you know, wherever, if you're, you're you know, out there on, uh, you know, somewhere else where... Uh, so that's my job, is to keep you company as you drift off. Another thing that can throw new people off is the idea that uh, the podcast is structured very differently. So our show starts off with a few a, a welcome, ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, and friends beyond the binary, so that everybody knows they're welcome, they're seen, and my goal is to treat you all with dignity and respect. Then we have business, and that's how we're just able to, that's just the reality to bring you the show for free. And there's maybe, I don't know, just somewhere between two and eight minutes of business. Then there's an intro, which is around 12 to 20 minutes long. Sometimes people feel like that's business too, but it's really, there's no business. Uh, I, mean, I guess I'm in no business of doing podcast intros because our intro, you know, most intros you'd say, well, shouldn't an intro be like two minutes? And shouldn't you just get to the point? And I'd say, well, not necessarily. In a sleep podcast, what I've discovered is the intro gives you a chance to wind down. Now, there is 2% of listeners that skip ahead straight to the story. And then there's a couple thousand listeners that support the show on Patreon and listen to story-only episodes. But other than that, like uh, whatever, the other couple hundred thousand people listen to the intro and the way that kind of works is that uh, the idea of the intro is that as you become a regular listener, you see what works for you. Uh, but the, the intro is kind of supposed to be part of your wind down routine, or that's what I discovered. So some people start it as they're getting ready for bed and they're starting their wind down routine or their bedtime routine or their skincare routine or stretching or journaling or knitting you know, petting animals, doodling, quiet sitting. So you could kind of see, or some people start it when they get into bed and they're just getting comfortable and letting the day drift away. So the intro is your runway. For regular listeners, it's it's new because every intro is different, but it's also familiar because uh, my attempt to make the intro make sense uh is like it happens, it's happened, whatever, almost 900 times now. So then after the intro, there'll be some business. And then we'll talk about uh, an episode of Doctor Who, a David Tennant episode. And if you don't watch Doctor Who or you're a super fan or you never even heard of it or you're worried about spoilers, don't worry. My recap will be very sleepy and it might not make any sense to anybody. I mean, I'm sure even, I don't think I could confuse the doctor. I think the doctor would be able to figure, the doctor would probably just, uh, I, I think me and the doctor would get along pretty good. You see, which doctor would you get along with best, Scoots? And I'd say, well, uh, uh, I'd say, well, I'd, like, uh, I mean, they're all pretty cool, but, uh, well, I'm not covering Jody Whitaker's doctor, you know, maybe, uh, uh, we could see, we, but so, what was I saying? Sorry, I'm blushing now. Oh, but so what was I saying? Oh, this podcast doesn't make any sense. Oh, so we'll talk about Doctor Who, but in a very indirect way. And then there's some thank yous at the end of the show. So that's the structure of the show. You don't need to listen to it. No pressure to fall asleep. 
Now, the reason I make the show is because I've been there and I know how it feels in the deep, dark night, tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep. All those things uh, happen for me. Waking up super early, waking up, you know, all that stuff I'm, I'm familiar with and I know how it feels and I, I don't want that for you. Or in some sense, I just don't want the, the dread that comes with that. I want to be able to create a situation where sleep with me becomes part of a routine with other cool stuff that, you know, we might looking at flowers or looking, you know, maybe you do some flower pressing or leaf pressing or something. And you start listening to sleep with me and you say, okay, well now at bedtime, I know I'm going to do some stretching, some quiet sitting. I'm going to get out my waxed paper and look or press a leaf or press a flower or look at a pressed leaf from, uh, you know, the autumn, and I'm going to listen to scoots. That's not half bad. Uh, so it kind of interrupts that bedtime dread. Uh, the other reason I make the show is because I know, like, not only do I know how it feels, uh, but I believe you deserve a good night's sleep. And it might be harder for you to believe that. I, I, mean, I mean, believe me, I know, but uh, I believe that. Uh, you, I know that. I don't believe it. I know you deserve a good night's sleep. And I also know our world will be a better place if you have a, a little bit of rest. If there's a little bit more rest and rested people in there, uh, people are going to flourish. So that's my goal. I just do it a little bit differently. So the main advice regular listeners give is give it a few tries and just see how it goes. There's really nothing to lose. Uh, except for a little bit of time. Now, some of you might already know that you don't like the show or you don't uh, enjoy me, and that's cool too. I do have a site, sleepwithmepodcast.com slash no thank you, you could check out as well. But I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found your way to the show. I really hope, I work really hard because I really want to help you fall asleep. So again, I appreciate you coming by, and I hope I can help you fall asleep. And here's a couple of ways we're able to bring you this podcast uh, for free. All right, everybody, it is time to talk about tonight's sponsor, Wild Health. And I was just at a family member's birthday party, and somebody was telling me about a book they're reading about longevity, and I got to tell them about Wild Health. And then we all started talking about, man, it's so frustrating when you don't have all the information you need, because it doesn't matter what advice you're giving people. I can talk about my experience, but in the end of the day, every person has different needs. With healthcare, one size does not fit all. Wild Health was founded by two emergency room physicians, and Wild Health takes a proactive and preventative approach to healthcare called precision medicine. They use your genetics, biometrics, and lifestyle data to help you determine what your body needs as far as nutrition, exercise, sleep, supplements, and more, helping you function at your best now and in the long run. If you listen to this show, you care about your health, which probably means you'll find this interesting. If you're struggling with stress, your cortisol level, that's your primary stress hormone, is probably elevated. 50% of all wild health patients have seen their cortisol levels improve following our health recommendations tailored to their unique genetic makeup. And I just met with my health coach, Sean. I cannot meet, wait to meet with the precision uh, physician and go over my genetics, go over all my test results. And then we can all come up with a plan together that includes lifestyle interventions, which I actually have control over. And that's whether you have a specific health goal like weight loss, body composition, improved energy, or you just want to optimize your health and prevent disease. Wild Health tailors a care with lifestyle first interventions and to help you implement your individualized care plan. And Wild Health pairs each person with a team consisting of a board-certified precision medicine physician and accredited health coach who can message anytime through the convenient app. Plus, Wild Health is fully virtual via telemedicine and is available everywhere in the U.S. Wild Health is generously extending Sleep With Me listeners 20% off the cost of membership with code SLEEPWITHME. Head over to wildhealth.com slash sleepwithme and use code SLEEPWITHME at checkout. Make this commitment to yourself and start taking control of your health today at wildhealth.com slash sleep with me. Sleep with me is brought to you by Progressive Insurance. Whether you love true crime or comedy, celebrity interviews or news, you call the shots on what's in your podcast queue. And guess what? Now you can call them on your auto insurance too with the name your price tool from Progressive. It works just the way it sounds. You tell Progressive how much you want to pay for 
car insurance, and they'll show you coverage options that fit your budget. Get your quote today at Progressive.com to join the over 28 million drivers who trust Progressive. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company and Affiliates. Price and coverage match limited by state law. Uh, Hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts or feelings, uh, physical sensations, changes in time or temperature. Uh, So things that might be on your mind or things you're feeling or experiencing physically or emotionally coming up for you or, you know, places you are. You might not be sleeping at home and or someone else might be gone or you might be anticipating something or it could just be a mystery. You could say, I don't know why. I'm just having trouble getting to sleep. Yeah, not sure why. Trouble staying asleep. Yeah, not sure why. Waking up early and needing someone to put you back to sleep. It got you there too. It can be used in all those ways and many more. So I'm not sure exactly what's keeping you awake. But I mean, the key thing is a lot of times I can relate to how you feel. Like, even physically, I don't know if you could just felt that, but I had, like, I tried to really, I do really try to put myself in your position, even those of you that are already like, this is not the podcast for me, and I'm going to, you know, one star you right now. Uh, usually that manifests in the same place, like behind my upper rib cage, uh, in the center of my chest. That's one place that I say, when I, not when I can't sleep, it's not what keeps me awake, uh, but it's like when I can't fall, like after I start to think about it, I can't fall asleep. You know what I'm saying? There's a little activity there behind the old rib cage. Uh, and it's like it's some sort of emotional resonance. I don't know if that's actually a word, but uh, where some of my, you know, feelings and organs are getting together and they're saying, uh, Scoots, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're not happy about this either, this situation. We're a bit miffed to, to say it mildly. So whatever's keeping me awake, here's a, here's my proposition. Uh, no, of course I want to see. Here's the situation, parents. Like I say that, that one out of three intros. Parents was, went away on a week's vacation. But here's my proposition. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to create this safe place here, and you can hang those at the door, or you could bring in whatever's keeping you awake. I'll try to take your mind off of it and whatever's keeping you awake off of itself. Or off of you saying, I got to get that human's attention. Got to shake the old rib cage. That's what you say. Wait, what are you, what's your job? Well, I'm the ultimate protector of you. Well, actually, I just project, protect a few, well, projection. Whoops, holy Freud, you got me. I'll tell you what, ultimate projector, protector. Could I get back to you in a second? Because, uh, I was going to tell the listeners, especially the new ones. So what I'm going to do is create a safe place. I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. The deep, dark night. I'm going to use lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. So that means I'll go off topic, which you kind of already seen already. Word repetition. That's definitely a technique I've mastered. Or maybe, you know, maybe that was a natural technique I've exploited. My, my natural ten- tendency to reuse words uh, in us and as and those kind of things. Uh, but if you're new, a few things to know. I'm glad, I really am glad you're here uh, because I, I'd like to help if I can. Now, this podcast does not work for everybody and definitely not everybody likes it, uh, but, but see how it goes. Like, I don't say this in a way, I don't gain anything by this, but like that most listeners, almost, I guess like sometimes I want to say 99%, but maybe it's like 80, it's definitely over 80% that said I had to listen to it two or three t- times before I realized 
that there was kind of nothing to figure out. This pod, this podcast uh, didn't make any sense. It made it makes so little sense. It makes perfect sense uh, because I'm in the business of nonsense. Uh, but so give it a few tries and just see how it goes. But it does not work for everybody. I really wish it did. Uh, I really wish I, I could 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 could, uh, could help everyone in the world fall asleep. Holy mackerel! I mean, because when I was a kid, the the soda companies were the ones. You wouldn't believe this, most of you that are listening. Uh, but you know, that's you say, Scoots. Where do you learn all of your great things about life and humanity? And I say, well, commercials that I watched as a kid, cartoons I watched as a kid. And sitcoms I watched as a kid. And once upon a time, there was a soda company, and they said uh, they they could put forth a proposition via song that if you could just buy everyone in the world a so like a soda, that would be it. It'd be like a bliss city, worldwide bliss. Uh, uh, and I think that's always stuck with me. I said one day. And I, I don't know, maybe there's, I mean, there's probably a few people here in the U.S. that could easily buy the world a soda or two. Uh, but that was a song. It was really, like, and they showed the whole globe in unity, in joy. It was it was a dream. Maybe it was somebody, some part of my brain said, you know, it's a commercial, right? And I said, well... You know, they also, the, the soda companies also are very, like, polar bears love them, too. So I'm not sure you're exactly right. Uh, but I carry that dream with me that one day, I don't know what they called it. It was, talk about so, soft soft drink power, soft power. It was soft drink power. Uh, the, soft, the soft drink revolution. It wasn't even, people were just so, they said, wow, this is great, uh, and I think it all started as it always does with a child singing about it was a love song to soda. I think the child loved the soda and the world so much. And here's the thing: I love soda. I try not to drink it only one like in over like one day period a week, or like a cheat day or whatever. But uh, I fail at that too. But uh, that's what I'm striving to do. But so. I, but as a youth, that stayed with me. I guess that was my point. And now I wish I could just, like, lull the world a lull and you'd be drifting off in, in sleepy sleepy harmony or whatever. But this podcast doesn't work for everybody. That was my meandering way of saying that. I wish it did. Just like I wish I could buy You know, if you don't drink a soda, I'd buy you something else. But I wish I could buy you one. Or something to say. <laughs> Some of these that you could use too, uh, but uh, where was I? So if you're new, podcast doesn't work for everybody. This is a podcast you don't need to listen to. Now, there's a lot of people that do listen, and there's people that kind of listen. There's people that barely listen, and there's few people that are finding new ways of, like, like new ways of just barely listening at all. So you could kind of see how it goes. But if you're new, it's, if you're listening very closely and trying to follow along and figure stuff out, I mean, clearly, I think I've already made my case that I don't really need to be fully listened to. Uh, because, if, you know, I, like, uh, can't give everything I'm saying full credence. So you could kind of barely listen, almost like the soft focus of that sweet, sweet commercial, sweet, sweet dream uh that I had about the world being unified under the soda powers, the soda accords. So that's one thing. This is also a podcast, and it doesn't really put you to sleep. I'm more here to keep you company as you drift off. I'm your boar friend, your boar bud, your boar bay, your boar sib, your boar bestie, your boar bruh. I mean, one day, whatever, whatever people are saying now, and three years from now, I'll be saying that, uh, yeah, you like, uh, so I'm here to keep you company, take your mind off of stuff uh, as you drift off and walk at your side uh, as you float away into dreamland. That's why the shows are about an hour to give you plenty of time to fall asleep. There's no pressure to fall asleep, no pressure to listen. And as a matter of fact, if you can't sleep, I'm going to be here till the very end because I do make this show 
like with a couple of kinds of listeners in mind. I mean, that one thing I actually believe that by the show, the episodes being an hour and fully complete, uh, that it somehow helps, you know, parts of those brain, part of your brain that's kind of active is kind of listen. I mean, don't, you know, don't let me puff up my ego too much, but those parts of your brain that are usually bugging you for some reason, you know, you might not like me that much, but those parts of your brain that are, uh, that, you know, but when you say, what was that, what's the purpose of that one tiny aspect of my personality? The, oh, the, who are we talking about? The protector projector. You see, what is your job exactly? Well, I project the past onto the future in order to protect you. Or I project the future onto the present with an immediacy. Yeah, or I'll project, you know, what, what, like uh, our values onto somebody else and then do a comparison. It's not exactly, it feels like an exact, you know, th- those are my jobs to keep you safe. And you see, I don't know how any of that exact, well, just trying to protect you, just doing my job. When were you invented, projector protector? Well, you know, I just came about one day, sprang into existence. Uh, you, would you like to be in this episode coming up? Because I'm towards, maybe we could could do it. Could we do an episode with you? Would you be comfortable with that? Well, I don't know. You're the one that's got to do the work. Uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. Maybe we could talk about that tonight. Uh, but usually those parts of our brains, uh, the, the, or your, you know, they say, huh, this Scoots, uh, he makes a lot of mistakes. I better keep my eye on him. Let my human rest. Holy, the holy fallible. They love most, I call them brain bots, uh, they love, they've never seen anyone as, I get their mail, believe it or not. They say, I've never seen anyone as valuable as you. You don't even know how to use that word. And I say, well, you know, that's my job. Just doing my job. You know, I'm a performer. Uh, and then they laugh knowingly. And I say, well, I'm just doing the, you know, I'm just doing the service I can. And they say, hey, you're making the most of what you got. Uh, hardy. And I say, yeah. Uh, so what was my point, though? Oh, so, oh, so the the reason the episodes are about an hour is in case you can't sleep. I'm going to be here to keep you company, uh, whether you're awake or asleep. So if you can't sleep, I'm here. If you listen all night, you know, these episodes are not perfect for all night listening. A lot of stuff on Patreon is a little bit better. I mean, that's a plug. Uh, but it's just a reality of, like, it, it, making the podcast, it has to have some support. To, so, so, But there are people that listen all night, and and that's because maybe they're waking up. So I'm here when you wake up. So, uh, you know, I'm just here for you, for you in this way that I can be here for you, which is a strange way. I mean, I'm a strange person, and I'm here in a strange but well-intentioned way to keep you company and take your mind off stuff as you fall asleep. Structurally, if you're new, way too late to explain this to you, but I will. A uh, show starts off with about five minutes of business, uh, five to six minutes of business or so. I, ideally, maybe, I'm always trying to trim it as, as short as I can, but that's how we keep the podcast free for everybody. Uh, then there's an intro. Now, the intro... Sometimes people get the intro in the with the business mixed up because the intro is mixed up. Uh, I just talk for about 12 to 20 minutes about the podcast and how I'm here to kind of help you fall asleep and keep you company. Uh, but the real purpose of the intro is to give you time to wind down. Whether you're getting ready for bed or you're in bed and you're getting comfortable and kind of sinking in. Uh, the intro is where the day kind of fades away. And it's also where you can learn insights. You know, for all of you that are younger, you say, geez, I didn't really know about uh, the time the soda companies, did, did they actually save the world scoots or did they, uh, did they just try? And I say, wow, great question. Uh, really, you, like, uh, hopefully the world works out better in your hands than, you know, I don't know, maybe, hopefully, whatever you saw, uh, yeah, it, no, I used to watch a lot of commercials, uh, you're like, you get to skip a lot more than I do, but I'm not sure, but I'm here to help you fall asleep, so the intro is just a long-winded 
a way of me trying to check in and tell new people about the podcast. But for regular listeners, what up, regular listeners? Uh, and all my pets that also listen to the podcast. I mean, you're not my pets, you're our pets. Uh, my fishes, what's up with the fishes in the room? Uh, because you don't get enough, cre- you know, talk about Creedence Cre- Cre- Clearwater Revival. You put, like, I don't know what that means, fishes, but, uh, you know, I know you can't be petted, but you could be treated with, uh, you could get attention. Also, all the other pets, you know, sorry, I can't call all of you out. Not all of you are sleep, as sleepy as, uh, you know, the big two, cats and dogs, who are great and deserve to be petted right now. Uh, but uh, all you other pets are darn Holy cow, are you, is this the cutest group of pets I've ever seen in the world? Uh, so I, also I pander to pets, uh, or, or, you know, acknowledge their greatness. Uh, what was I talking about? The intro. Oh, this, that's another part of the intro. So intro just helps you get ready, get comfortable, and start to drift off. Then we'll do a story. Uh, originally I thought this intro was going to be about something else, but apparently it'll probably be looking at, uh, uh, our friend projector protector, just cause I like saying that. And yeah, I think that's it. I mean, oh, oh, then there's some thank yous at the end. There's also a business between the intro and the show, the, the bedtime story. Uh, that's kind of just how, like, it's easier if when your hand hits the fridge tomorrow, you just say, oh, how do I support the show? Then, uh, but that's where the, the, uh, the ads are. And I think that's it. I mean, uh, like, uh, I hope I can help you fall asleep. Give it a few tries. Try not to take it, this. If you're skeptical, totally makes sense. Almost every listener came here skeptical and doubtful. Of course you would be. But uh, I'm really glad you're here. And I really hope I can help you fall asleep. I work very hard on the show. I yearn and I strive. Uh, and, uh, well, you know, let's see how it goes, right? Uh, and here's a couple of ways, of ways we're able to keep this podcast uh, free for everybody. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble, getting to sleep, trouble, staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it with a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts you're thinking about, so things on your mind, uh, like uh, from the past, present, or future, uh, feelings, any emotions that might be coming up for you uh, feeling-wise, or physical sensations you're feeling. So thoughts, feelings, physical sensations, maybe changes in schedule, work routine, or just other stuff. You know, it could be inside, it could be outside. It could be seasonal or it could be situated. Whatever it is that's keeping you up, I'm here to take your mind off of that. And here's what I propose to do. I'm going to try to create a safe place where you could set all that aside. Like I said, I'm going to smooth it. I'm going to pat it. I'm going to rub it down. I'm going to say safe place. Uh, and then I'm going to smooth it and pat it and rub it down again and smooth and then smooth it out and then pat it. Uh, because that's what, that's what I do. Like, that's what, like, I don't have that level of bed routine, but if I did have, I'd say, well, could you smooth that and pat it, rub, like, shouldn't you pat it last, smooth it, pat it, rub it down, say safe place, smooth it out, then do a welcoming pat. Okay. Okay, then what do you, oh, then I'm, let's try to create, a, establish a safe place. Another technique I'm going to use, I'm going to send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'm going to use a lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones, which is how my voice sounds, pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. I'm going to go off topic. I'm going to get mixed up, uh, like you said, like I said, I'm gonna, sometimes my mixed up words, be, like I realize those are, are real words, like boysenberry, which again is not spelled how I would think to spell it. Uh, 
and smell it? I don't know. And also, this is a fair question. Is a boys, is that a real thing? Or is that one of the great corporate berries that have been not, um, but I mean, is it a corporate berry? Uh, I mean, I've heard of boysenberry pie, but I didn't know if it was like boysenberry pie. Like, uh, there's no bear, no berries are included in the spot, but it is delicious. And I said, well, it is delicious. Uh, uh, so we'll come back to that. But yeah, basically here's the thing. If you're, if you're a regular listener, thanks for coming back. So good to see you. Like, what should I do with your feet tonight? Okay. By the way, I like that. I like that. Uh. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, I, I'm really impressed. Okay, do you want your feet in or okay, okay? What about one foot in, one foot out? Uh, what if I build a tent using your toes so for airflow? And then if you decide you want full, like, then you could just pull your feet back and the tent will close. Okay, yeah, or I could do it with this book here, and they could just kick the book right out of bed. And you could do, maybe that would be something uh, empowering. Maybe that could be a new thing we all do. You see, hold on, Scoots. I thought you were introduced. Okay, well, I'm just working with the new, usually I talk to the new listeners, but this is an idea for regular listeners. You say, okay, Scoots, this sounds like one of your wild ideas. It is. Uh, you take a book, uh, pro- preferably a hardcover book, You probably not unabridged, but you know, I'm thinking about something like one of those Reader's Digest uh, abridged uh, summaries of bu- a bunch of books, because those are usually pretty sturdy. You know, or a Funk and Wagnalls encyclopedia. You know, it can't get enough of saying Funk and Wagnalls. Uh, and you t- set it up like in a, uh, a what, an A-frame situation. Parents went away on a week's vacation. Yeah, no, no, this is different. So at the foot of your bed, and then you use that A-frame as a superstructure to tent the end of your blankets. Uh, then you could place your feet either on the air hole on the other side of the A-frame superstructure or on either side. You could decide. And what will that accomplish, Scoots? Well, one, airflow. Uh, two, th- this is more important, actually, than the airflow. Gives you a feeling of control uh, and options. Okay, Scoots, tell me more. Well, okay, so one, you know, okay, the be- like depending on what's at the foot of your bed, I obviously got to think about that. Uh, because if I, when I have a guest, I don't have a guest room. And when I set up my guest bed, it's actually at the foot of my bed. So I couldn't do this if I had a guest laying, like sleeping on a mattress on my floor. Uh, so just in case anybody's in that situation. So you, so you have the, the, the book there, the bed book, bed book, uh, now available from the Sleep With Me store. It's an old book uh, that goes in your bed. It's a bed book. Uh, but so then you could say, okay, well, I, I like this, my feet, I, I like this feeling of airflow with my feet, or I can put my feet in, like you could put your feet out. You'd say, hey, toesy poos, you want to go look outside the, out of the comfort and the blanket, go on down there, peek around to see what you see. And then they could come back. Uh, but then you could also, for a couple different reasons, you could say, well, I prefer uh, to get my feet now fully enclosed in my comforter and blankets. You just kick that, uh, the book out of there. Or it could be something symbolic or less than symbolic where you say, you know what, this book is, I'm fed up with this uh, airflow. And then you don't have to kick the book. You just push it forcefully out of your bed. Or it could be a way you could, like, release some other feelings. If you have a partner that's sound asleep and snoring, you could say this pushing, this, uh, like, uh, uh, forceful pushing of this book out of my bed symbolizes the strong feelings I feel, uh, and now I'm ready for bed. It could be one more part of your bedtime routine. So that's just an option I thought of just now. Now, if you're a new listener, holy moly, I'm late to the game already. A couple of things to know, which maybe you figured out. This is a podcast that barely ever gets to any points, doesn't go anywhere, but it kind of does. 
It takes forever to get there. So if you're new, try to barely pay me any attention. And I know that's hard when you're new. Like, you really have to learn that, oh, wait, he's serious. He doesn't want us to pay any barely attention. We could pay attention to him, but we don't need to. And if you try to pay too much attention to me, uh, that's when it's like it doesn't work out because they say, when is this show going to get started? Like, So just kind of loosely consume the podcast. Though this idea, I mean, like you might see me, you might see right through me. Uh, but for me, this this could be, I mean, this is a free idea that could work for everyone. I mean, this is groundbreaking stuff for me, putting a book at the end of your bed. And it could be, you see, that's a free idea. You know, who else? Get, I don't I don't remember any of those other uh, famous inventors or, you know, astronomers or whatever, philosophers. Uh, maybe some of, the, some of them gave their ideas away. You see, well, Scoots, I don't know if you could really put your ideas. You can't put a price on them. Right. You mean that's a priceless idea? No. It's, it's just hard to put a price on that, the idea of putting a book at the end of your bed. So it's it's priceless. No, it's hard to price it. You'd say, well, it's a free idea. Uh, maybe that's the right price. Uh, like, uh, okay, thanks. Oh, so barely pay any attention. So this is a pod, one of the few podcasts you don't really need to listen to. That's one thing. The second thing to know is that this isn't really a podcast to put you to sleep. I'm here to keep you company while you drift off, not really to put you to sleep. I'm here to be at your bedside and to, to take your mind off of stuff and just be here talking and while you fall asleep like i'm gently walking at your side while you drift off and that's kind of why the shows are about an hour it gives you plenty of time to fall asleep and then if you can't sleep you know i'm going to be here for you i'm going to be here to the very end episode after episode so if you can't sleep i'm here too or if you wake up or whatever. So those are a couple of things to know. Now, the other things, if you're new, that can throw new listeners off uh, are a few things. The structure of the show. Like, so listening to the show, that throws people off right away. Uh, the idea that I'm here to put you to sleep and not really, that throws people off. Uh, creaky dulcet tones and my inability to speak throw people off. So those are all natural reactions. Uh, because I think I forgot to say this podcast is definitely does not work for everybody. Not, I don't even think it works for the majority of people that listen to it for, for one to three times. Uh, but most regular listeners, which is a, a pretty big number of people, they said it took two or three tries. Now I listen every night or now I listen whenever I need it. Because I realized all the stuff. Scoots was serious when we said don't listen to him. And it made sense when he said, well, your ideas aren't priceless, Scoots. They're just hard to price. Because uh, I don't do, like, what do you mean? Pre, like pre-disc. Yeah, we don't know whether to discount. I'm not discounting your ideas. I'm just wondering what the discount we would put on your idea when we price it. Like how to build that in. Okay, that sounds familiar to other tangents I've been on. It so probably is, Scoots. Probably those were uh, hard to price, too. Uh, so, okay. So those are, oh, structure. That's the other thing that can throw new listeners off. So show starts off with a greeting, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and friends beyond the binary so that you know, you're welcome here. Uh, and ideally I can maintain the, the rapport and trust I'm trying to build uh, to create a safe place, though I don't always achieve that. I'm not perfect. That's what I'm striving to do, to do. So then there's business. Uh, so the business is about four to eight minutes long of me rambling. Even the business, I try to get to the point. I try to make that a little bit flashier because that's how we bring you the show twice a week. Then after that is uh, the intro, which is the intro is around from minute, like whatever, six to minute 20 or so. It could be from any of those minutes to any minutes in the, you know, but the intro is about 12 to 20 minutes, which we're already like uh, probably 12 minutes into it. So we're going to be longer than 12 minutes tonight. 
of me trying to introduce a podcast. 800, 900 times I've tried to do it and not successfully summed it up because uh, it's hard to price. It's hard to describe. But the other thing for the regular listener is the intro is part of the show. It's part of their wind down routine. Uh, the whole thing is to ease you off into bedtime. So some people start listening as they're getting ready for bed and they're doing their wind down routine. Some people listen when they're in bed. Some people are listening during the day while they're working or whatever, when you need a break. Uh, but the idea is the intro slowly gives you some space uh, from the day and, uh, like starts to relax you or, or distract you. And then we we'll go into a bit, then there's business after the intro. And then I'll do our, our seasonal series, episodically modular series, uh, odder things. So that's the structure of, and then, oh, then there's some thank you. So, so that's the structure of the show. And then, yeah, some listeners skip the, like 2% of listeners start the show around 20 minutes. Then another like 2, two or 3% of listeners, maybe up to 5, set a sleep timer for 30, 45, or, or 60 minutes. Some people listen all night, though I don't know if the, the this version is the best. Like the Patreon versions are a little bit better to listen to all night. But so that's, you could kind of discover how you're going to consume the show. Like uh, at first, just see how it goes. Like most listeners said, it didn't work the first time, didn't work the second time. I was skeptical. Then I realized uh, I was skeptical for like, it's like, oh, my skepticism was, was paid off. For once, my skepticism paid off because I was skeptical and doubtful. And then I fell asleep. So that's it. I guess I was going to talk about boysenberries because uh, I've heard that like term, and, and you'd think it would have an O I in there, but I think it's like a Y B O Y or something, N E S or E N S uh, boysenberry. But I always feel like a boysenberry is like a marketing berry, or like I said, a corporate berry. And then it makes me think of Strawberry Shortcake because she ran with a lot of berry-based creatures or beings. Uh, so I don't know if there was a boysenberry. But, you know, I always think of, like, uh, the B Belle Biv DeVoe song. So I would just try to say, well, boysenberry rhymes with that. with their, one of their more popular songs, but not spelled the same. So normally I would try to spell it B O I. Because then I'd say, da 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 in full effect. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Let me try to spell it. Uh, listener, I must warn you that I can't spell uh, B. Oh, uh, you know, so that, that's how I, that's normally how I spell everything. Uh, but so, where was I? Oh, so I'm not exactly sure. I mean, sure, I'll get messages after this. Oh, yeah, boys and berries are a real thing. I say, well, okay, in my mind, it looks like somewhere. And here's one thing you need to know about me. I prefer, I'm not a, like, I'll eat raspberries, but I'm much more of a blackberry uh, or those type of, uh, the, that side of the berry family. I, I appreciate a raspberry. Uh, but I don't know, like I think because I picked berries, you know, as a kid, uh, there was uh, some pricker bushes we had access to. And so we would pick those and eat those. So I don't know. Then I always think of like those like more wild blackberry type berries. So I don't know if which boys and berry, if a boys and berries like either one of those. I mean, you know, you should know also, I'm a big pie, I'm, I love pies, holy, holy pie fan. Put me, you know, hold 3.14, hold the phone because, you know, uh, I'll have 3.14 pieces of pie. Make one cold, make one for breakfast, and, and I'll emote one with whipped cream, one with a la mode. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so I don't know where, where my point was there either. Oh, boy. Uh, but yeah, so I guess here's the thing. The reason I make this show is because you deserve a good night's sleep. You deserve a place of respite. And ideally, whether it's this podcast or something else, you do serve something that makes bedtime less stressful and maybe something you can feel neutral about or look forward to. And I hope the show can provide it, but I know it doesn't provide it for everybody. So if you, if it doesn't, I hope you find something that works, uh, 
The other reason I make this show is because I've been there. I know how it feels in the deep, dark night, tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep. Uh, so I just want to help because I know how it feels. Um, and I know it feels L-O-N-L-E-Y sometimes for me. Or frustrating or whatever other words you would, like I can't spell. Uh, or boysenberry. I can't say boysenberry because that's too many... Anyway, so I'm here. I appreciate you coming by and checking this show out. Uh, I work really hard. I yearn and I strive. I really want to help you fall asleep. And here's a couple of ways we're able to bring this podcast uh, free on a regular basis. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, uh, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it's a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. I'm going to do the rest. And what I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you where where uh, it's create a safe place where you could set aside whatever's keeping you awake, whether it's uh, thoughts, uh, feelings, uh, physical sensations, uh, changes in time or temperature. Uh, sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> like, uh, I apologize. I, I seriously apologize, listeners. Uh, I don't know if you have this experience at bedtime or daytime, but you're doing one thing and then your mind goes to somewhere else. I'm leaning in right now. And uh, like another part of my brain said, Scoots, what about that thing we, we had to get done? And uh, like I went, like part of me, and I'm not gonna like I'm, I'm I can be honest with you. You're and you might be a new listener. This might be new to you. Podcaster getting honest about uh, his foibles, but yeah, one part of my brain just took off on me and said uh, it got and it got my attention. It said, "Scoots, uh, we got to talk about this thing." And I said, like, uh, and it started telling me all this stuff. Uh, I'm not like while I was just talking there for the past like four or fourteen seconds or so. And that's not really fair uh, because I'm really here to pay attention to you and try to be in the moment. I kind of got sucked out of the moment there. So I'm going to kind of reset and then maybe we'll come back to this. Uh, uh, so uh, what, like, uh, it, like uh, we do a bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the right, lights and press play. I'm going to do the rest. That's right around. I can even pay, I'll, I'll go into what happened too. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights and press play. I'm going to do the rest. So what I'm going to attempt to do. Is create a safe place where you, you reestablish it in this case, where you could set aside whatever scheme you like. It could be things you're thinking about, past, present, or future, right? We just got an example of how that happens even during the day. But for me, it's at night, it's even more amplified. It could be feelings or emotions coming up for you. But I'm trying to have a grounded thing of uh, for me and say, hey, well, it's a realistic, Scoots. You know, everybody gets just spun out and distracted, even sleep podcasters. So you can't be having feelings about anything, though, and they might even be, they might just be coming up. You don't even know where they came from, and uh, I'm here to keep you company for, through that. It could be physical sensations, uh, whatever it is that's keeping you awake. I, I'd like to uh, take your mind off of that and keep you company as you drift off, and that's my job. Uh, now, if you're new, before I get to the distractions, uh, of distracting you with my distractions, let me set up a couple things for you if you're new, because this podcast is very different, and it could throw new listeners off. Understandably, you might be coming to this show skeptical or doubtful or confused, and those are all legitimate ways to view this podcast at first, because it is different. It, of course, if you can't sleep or you have trouble sleeping, you say, what is this person going to put me to sleep or doing what? Or what are they up to? Or, you know, that's totally normal. Also, I have creaky, dulcet tones and pointless meanders. Did I say that? Am I so distracted? That's how I do this. I create a safe place by sending my voice across the deep, dark night using lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones and pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. Uh, so that not, that's not everybody's cup of tea at first. And now most listeners say, give it a few tries, uh, and see how it goes. Uh, and the best way to listen to this podcast is to barely not listen or mostly not, mostly barely pay attention. Just imagine we're out of focus a little bit. You're saying, Hmm, Scooch, you're coming at like, I don't really need to, like, yeah, you don't have to hold my words in, in your ears. You could just let them bounce off. I call it reflective listening. You know, there's active listening and all that stuff. Reflect, reflective listening 
I think this is the only example other than when you're not like other than like, the, like I'm sure there's people that are like intentionally reflective listening, but those are people on a mountaintop or under a Bodhi tree. Uh, but this is like a, for regular everyday people is, uh, you, you, you just let my words bounce off your eardrums. You say, okay, brain, don't worry about, you should, you know, turn the, you don't have to turn the synapses off or whatever they're called, the ganglias or whatever, but, you know, just turn it down. You know, you let those words hit, hit my eardrums that Scooch is saying, and, you know, turn your interpretation and your understanding, you know, bring it, bring it down to whatever, put it on, uh. Like, a, you know, we don't necessarily have sleep mode, but, you know, passive mode. Because imagine if you told somebody, oh, I want to try to listen to you passively. They'd say, what, it, you know, especially if it was someone that you're supposed to listen to, they'd say, what is, what do you mean passive listening? So this is a bit like that, but it's like, sounds better. You say, well, it's ref like reflective listening. Oh, you're going to reflect back what I'm saying? Well, actually, literally, I will be doing that, but I'm not exactly sure where the sound waves will go. I'll be reflecting your sound waves or my eardrums. My whole body actually reflects sound waves. I learned this, uh, you know, from YouTube or something. But uh, so, yeah, we'll be uh, reflecting your sound waves. What was the question? Oh, it's supposed to be new listeners. So kind of get, give it a few tries, kind of see how it goes. But don't you don't really need to listen to me. Sometimes this podcast really throws people off when they're expecting it to get somewhere or for things to start happening or for it to develop or go someplace. It will eventually barely go someplace, but we're more like a floating leaf on a slow-moving stream uh, than, you know, some sort of action, you know, say, like where you say, oh, boy, wow, that's uh, that's some current really moving that leaf. I say, well, no, I don't know, the leaf's going, is the leaf even, so... It could kind of barely listen. And here's the other uh, paradoxical thing. I'm not really here to put you to sleep. I'm here to keep you company. And so there is no pressure to fall asleep. I'm here to serve you in a strange way by just talking and, and keeping you company. And then you can fall asleep whenever you want. So ideally, you don't even notice. That's the whole goal of the show. I take your mind off stuff. At some point, you fall asleep. I'm walking at, the si at your side. You know, we're up on the clouds or whatever. Uh, and, uh, you say, uh, huh, you pretend, you know, you're reflectively listening. Uh, huh, scoots. Uh, huh. Uh, huh. Okay. Yep. Uh, huh. Podcast puts me to sleep. Uh, huh. Uh, huh. And then you drift off. That's the goal of the show. Now here's the other thing. If you can't sleep, I'm going to be here till the end to keep you company. So that's the other side of it is if you can't sleep, uh, I'm here. Cause some listeners just can't sleep or you're waking up or you need a break during the day. I'm here for you. The, the show's complete. Uh, it's just a kind of complete that you don't need to listen to really unless you need to or want to. So podcast you don't need to listen to, and it's a podcast to put you to sleep that really more uh, is here while you fall asleep. A sleep offering instead of a sleep solution, sometimes I say. Uh, so that's that. Oh, structurally, this can also throw new people off, so I want to acknowledge it. The show starts off with a greeting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends beyond the binary, and in these episodes, trees and multiforms. Uh, then we have business and that's how we keep the podcast coming to you twice a week. Then there's an intro and normally the, it, like it's the intro that throws people off. Sometimes people think that the business lasts the whole intro, but the business is just a portion at the beginning of the show. Then there's an intro, which is really long. It's about 12 to 20 minutes long and it's me kind of keeping you company and just talking and introducing the podcast and about 2% of regular listeners skip the intro. And, uh, like everyone else, uh, you, when you become a regular, at first it's to introduce you to the podcast and to kind of get an idea of what you're in for, which is not, you know, not much, a leaf floating on a barely moving stream. Uh, but if you become a regular listener, what it kind of happens is you say, oh, okay, this is how I like to consume sleep with me. And some examples of that are starting the podcast as you're getting ready for bed, whether it's brushing your teeth or changing your clothes or, uh, turning down your bed or, you know, doing some other bedtime activities that are chill, like sitting or laying or knitting or hooking, you know, be the, the, I've seen some people do so, something like knitting, but it's hooking. Uh, maybe you're playing hooky and you say, well, I'm just going to take the day off and take a nap. That's awesome. 
um, or maybe like uh, you're doodling or uh, I don't know, whatever it is. Maybe you're petting your animal and they're drooling because I almost said drooling. Uh, so, or some people are in bed and they start the podcast and as they're getting comfortable and getting settled. So the whole idea of the intro is to ease you into bedtime with something that's kind of familiar and comforting, but also different every time because my brain constantly adapts to sleep stuff and, and it says, okay, this is not, might work for me once, but I guess my philosophy of sleeping with me is that it's different every time to get by those parts of you. And I think the beginning of the show is a perfect example of that, but I'll come back to that. But so that, that's the intro. So it could throw people off. Then there's business between the intro and the show. That's just part of podcast structure. Then there we'll be talking about an episode of Doctor Who, series season three, episode two, Shakespeare Code, uh, the Shakespeare Code. But it'll be very, if you've seen the episode, you'll say, wow, that was not much. That had Shakespeare and the Doctor and Martha in it. Uh, other than that, I don't know how accurate it was. And if you haven't seen it, don't worry. It'll be like a bedtime story. And actually a really nice one. You got Martha, doc, the Doctor, and Shakespeare in it. So you say, okay. I don't know who two of those three people are, but it sounds somewhat uh, bedtime and story and do. And I say, you got it. That's what I'm here for. Uh, then there's some thank yous at the end of the show. So that's a structure show. The reason I make the show is twofold. One, you deserve a good night's sleep. I want you to know that. And I'm here to try to provide that if I can. Uh, because you, you deserve it. Your world will be a better place. Your life will be a little bit better. You'll be rested. And our, our greater world will be a better place. So you deserve a good night's sleep. The other reason I make the show is because I've been there and I know how it feels. And if I can relieve that for any of you or reduce it, that's my honor. So those, so the, oh, and then, the, yeah, and that kind of leads into, I, I have a person, you know, I have one of those brains that's going a mile a minute, uh, and it's not always productive and it also needs a little bit. It's constantly adapting. And so even tonight I said, okay, well, I'm going to start the podcast intro. And I started doing it and I got to this familiar part. Uh, and then I re remembered someone wrote something on Reddit that was funny in a positive way. And people were kind of going back like, oh, good thing. Scoot. You know, I like it when Scoot says press play. Don't, don't forget to turn out the lights. Like people were, and I was thinking about that in a positive way. Then my brain said, what about that other stuff you got to finish getting done later? And I said, oh, yeah. And I said, well, here's what I think. I, I, like, this is meanwhile, this is while I was talking. I mean, that was like a, a part of the podcast that's kind of rote memory anyway. But that doesn't excuse it. It's just important. It doesn't mean it's wrong. It just means uh, I fell out of focus there. And then it said, it was talking about this uh YouTube video I made to explain something about the Patreon feed to patrons. And I said, okay, this is what you got to do to improve that. And so I knew, and then I started thinking, okay, then we'll do this and we'll do this. We got to get it done. And then I realized that I was spun out like editing a YouTube video while I was trying to talk to you. And that's why I acknowledge and apologize because I said, wait a second, excuse me uh, to do brain. I got to get back to the listener who's trying to fall asleep. And that, you know, sometimes I'm in a calm spot like I am today and embracing an accepting spot. And I can say, hey, I know you want to get that done. And that's a concern of ours for later. Let me focus on the moment right now. And this person we're trying to help fall asleep. Uh, I respect that you want to get that done later. But I'm going to return to this moment. I'm going to let this person know what happened uh, and just see how it goes. At, at nighttime, that does not, that, that conversation does not go that well. Also, there's like probably 40 or 50 voices. And some of them are from the far, far past and the far future or fictional futures and pasts uh, saying, oh boy, wait till this, you know. And so I know how it feels. So when you say, well, I just want to go to sleep here. Could you give me a break? Uh, and the idea of the podcast is that's a tool in that to say, hey, let me take you, just listen to me and I'll kind of take up your brain space here. But it has to be, in my opinion, a little bit different every time because there's something about that going through that, that I wasn't in the moment 
and I knew what I was going to say for the next 45 seconds. Then my other part of my brain said, let's run with this. I got, I got a memo for you to read. Uh, so I don't know. I mean, the other thing is if you're regular listeners, you, you hear it. Like this podcast is always incrementally invo- evolving and I'm growing as a person. So it really is an honor for me to make this show. Cause not only do I know how it feels, uh, I don't know, like, uh, like in serving you in some small way, uh, it gives me great meaning, but it also gives me a lot of growth opportunities that I might not necessarily have. So I don't know, like, uh, I'm here to try to take your mind off. So if you're new, yeah, the show's very different, but give it a few tries. There's nothing really to lose. It's a free podcast, right? And just see how it goes. And maybe, maybe the podcast doesn't work for you, but you say, well, I did like the doodling. And then maybe you try out another sleep podcast or something else. Uh, so just see how it goes. I really do want to help. I really appreciate you coming by. I work hard. I yearn and I strive. And I really hope I can help you fall asleep. Uh, thanks again. And here's a couple of ways we're able to bring you this podcast uh, for free. Uh, hey, are you up all night tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble getting to sleep, trouble staying asleep? Well, welcome. This is Sleep With Me, the podcast that puts you to sleep. We do it the bedtime story. All you need to do is get in bed, turn out the lights, and press play. What I'm going to attempt to do is create a safe place where you could set aside whatever is keeping you awake, uh, thoughts, you know, so things on your mind that you're thinking about, uh, from the past, present, or future. Usually for me, it's like thinking about stuff in the future that has related to, that could happen in the future. That's because of the past, uh, that I need right now to like very little present, except for presently, you need to think about this stuff, uh, and really remember it in visceral detail. So thoughts, so those are some thoughts that go through my mind. Feelings, emotions could come up from those thoughts. They could just be there from the day or long, you know, they could just be there. Uh, Emotions uh, are another way to say it. Uh, And then physical sensations uh, that that could be keeping you up. Uh, It could be other stuff too, changes and noises, work routine, life routine, Maybe too much poutine. You know, you say, oh boy, I had too much of that poutine. Po- po- is that how you say it, poutine? I, I, suddenly I'm like, oh boy, did I say that incorrectly? I don't know. Maybe that would probably help you fall. So you say, that's a comfort food, Scoots. I say, oh boy, it is, I think. Uh, but so whatever's keeping me awake, it could be any of those things. It could be something else. Uh, what I'm here to do is create a safe place and take your mind off of that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to smooth the safe place. I'm going to pat the safe place. I'm going to rub it down. All in enticing, inviting, motive, you know, like uh, you say, oh, boy, that looks like Scoots is putting some work in there. Create a real nice, safe place. Uh and then what I'll do is I'll send my voice across the deep, dark night. I'll use lulling, soothing, creaky, dulcet tones. Oh, so creaky. Pointless meanders, superfluous tangents. So I'll go off topic. Uh, you know, I'll go on tangents and uh, then, you know, get distracted. Uh, and lots of filler words and stuff like that. So let me see if you're new. I'm here to keep you company while you drift off is the summary of really my job. Well, first, my first job, if you're new, is to earn your trust or your mild. Uh, I'm gonna, I want to earn your trust in such a way that you forget I'm here. Talk about trustworthy. But in a way, you say, well, like, uh, like, like almost like, well, yeah, I don't need to really think about you at all. How come there's not more relationships like that? Uh, you see, tell me about, like, maybe that would be a little bit, well, what are you looking for? Well, someone that forgets I'm around, most, except when I, you know, of course there's times I would like to be remembered. But when I say I'm your boar friend or your boar bae or your boar cuz or your boar sib or your boar bestie, that's really what I'm looking for in our relationship here is to say, well, just forget I'm there. Don't, don't even bother acknowledging me. And then I'll be, that'll make me very happy. That would be a passive aggressive way. Usually nanas say that. Oh, just don't pretend I'm here at all. 
except when I groan in displeasure at what you're, you know, that you're not acknowledging me. And all the, oh, and don't pay attention to the advice I give you. Oh, no, no, no. That's what the Nana in my mind says, pretty much 24 hours a day. But I've learned to, to prioritize other voices. Because she doesn't really mean that, right? She says, don't, oh, no, don't listen to what I said about you, about first grade, second grade, third. Don't, oh, no. Don't think about what I'm talking to right in your ear. Just ignore me. But she really means pay full attention because uh, by going and saying hello to someone, uh, it could unlock total consequence for the universe. Okay, but what was my point? Uh, let's see. If you're new, don't pay any attention to me. That's the first thing about this podcast. It's a podcast you barely need to listen to. So you can kind of let me be background noise. I say, I want to be your background noise. Uh, that's like, I don't want to be, you know, I'm not looking for it to be the number one person. You say, what are the podcasts you can't forget about? And then you make a list and you say, oh, I forgot about Sleep With Me. I listened to that 8,000 hours last year. Totally forgot. That's when I say, well, if you listen to, I don't like if you forgot about me, but you actually use the podcast, no problem. Now that you remembered, spread the word, but cool. So it's a podcast you don't need to listen to. And that's really the best way if you're new. It's, I know there's a temptation to pay attention or wait for the podcast. You say, when's it getting started? I say, well, I'm here. I'm here keeping you company right now. So it's a podcast that never really gets started and Peter's, you know, but once it gets going, it Peter's out right after that. And most of the time I'm chasing around Peter's cotton. I'm, I'm saying, does Peter have a cottontail? Like, uh, cause I'm trying to catch up with it. Cause I saw there goes, where goes Peter's cottontail? Like which way is a bunny trail? Because I don't know, I don't even know what to look for in a bunny trail. Also, are there that many bunnies around here that use the same, that no one else uses that trail? It's just a bunny trail? Okay, so don't pay attention. Barely listen to me. That's one thing. The other thing is there's a lot of sleep podcasts now, but this is the one sleep podcast that's not here to put you to sleep. I'm here to keep you company. That's really my job. I'm here to keep you company and take your mind off of stuff, and ideally you drift off like at your leisure. So I'm here to take your mind off stuff. And then if you can't sleep, I'm going to be here either way. So you say, well, I can't sleep. I'm saying, no problem. I'll be here before you tonight. I'll be talking about stuff, uh, and distracted by Peter's cottontail and my Nana. Is there any like sort of plant called the Peter's cottontail or like a coral? They say, oh yeah, that coral structure is known as the Peter's cottontail or Peter's cottontail. There's gotta be, right? I got Peter Cott. You say, what is that? What was it uh, when they put out that new uh, version of that game with the person with the red light nose oper operator? Uh, what they said, operator 2.0. There was Peter Scottentail. They say, you got to get that out of there with the, the, the tweezers. Okay, so. I thought, oh, so don't listen to me. I'm here to ba barely put you to sleep, to take your mind off stuff, to be your bore bud. And, and that's why it shows about an hour, to give you plenty of time to drift off. So those are two things to know. The other things to know, oh, structure of the show. That's another good thing for you to know. And it's interesting because this is episode 900. I think probably it's episode 900. Not 100% sure about that. And this structure of the show has developed over 900 episodes since 2013. It's slowly evolved to this, very slowly. Though if you're new or you listen to old episodes, you say, well, some people it feels the same. Some people it feels like a very big difference. But the show hopefully is always getting, you <laughs> see, it's like microscopically getting better. And you'd say, hey, Scoots, is there something smaller than a microscopic improvement? And I'd say, yeah, probably like, uh, Electron, let me see, like uh, electron microscopically getting better. Okay, that fits more. Yes, our show is like uh, we take we take the the microscopic analogy uh, down to the electron in the way I pr improve things. 
you know, one day I'll put it together enough electrons that you'll say, holy cow, you got yourself uh, some sort of, I don't know, you, you might have enough to spin them around something. I say, don't worry, there's infinite dark matter in there, maybe. So, oh, oh, so the structure of the show, it's slowly developed, but it, it definitely can throw people off. So if you're thrown off or you're skeptical or you're doubtful, totally normal reaction. Because this podcast is so different and structurally it's different. Show starts off with a greeting. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, friends beyond the binary. And even that slowly developed around the show because I want everybody to feel seen and welcome. So, you know, okay, this is this person's trying to make a safe place. So that's one. Then there's business. That is, that's the way. So you say, oh, it's free too. So I don't have to pay for, uh, like, uh, it's optional. This is what you say. This podcast actually works for millions of people, and it's optional to pay for it uh, versus being behind a paywall or something because of the sponsors. So, so sponsors are next. Uh, we do the business up front. That's like a few minutes. Then there's about a 12 to 20 minute sh- section I call the intro, which we're like 10 minutes into now. So it's a little late to tell you that, but, uh, where I explain what the podcast is and it takes me a long time and it introduces you to the creaky dulcet tones, the pointless meanders, the superfluous tangents, me, my, you know, I come with a lot of stuff. I'm a bit different. So you can kind of get a sense, uh, you say, okay, this podcast is a bit different. We like this. Yeah. I don't know. What's the opposite of an electron microscope? When you say a bit different, I think you're, you spend too much time on your electron microscopic improvements. So, oh, but so that's the intro. The intro for a new listener is supposed to introduce you to it. But it also is like this podcast doesn't work for everybody, but it also takes a while to get used to. So out of the, all those regular listeners, most of them said, hey, it took two or three tries for me to get used to the podcast. So kind of see how it goes. But then as you become a regular listener, like 2% of regular listeners skip the intro. They start the show at 20 minutes, and they just go from there. But 98 97% of the rest of the listeners, they use the intro in different ways. But it kind of serves the same purpose. It's either part of their wind-down routine or their falling-asleep routine. So some people start it before they get into bed. Some people start it while they're at work, while they need a break. Some people start it in bed, but it eases you into bedtime, drifts you away from the day. So that's the idea of the intro. Then there's business between the intro and the show. That's just uh, how podcasts are structured. So that's uh, the that. Then tonight we'll be doing a 900 look. Back. We'll just look at a, a type of episode we've done, real-time recipes. And we'll just take a look back at, like, uh, those type of shows in a fun way. So it'll be real, like a bedtime story based on, uh, like, like, not a recap show, but a look back show. But really, you could sleep right through it. But if you don't, if you can't sleep, I'll be here and it'll be mildly interesting. And then the show closes with some thank yous and good nights because uh, those are the people that made it possible to be here. And I appreciate that. So that's the structure of the show. I think that's it for new listeners. Like, yeah, like I said, I kind of grow on you. You know, when you, like, I don't know if trees say this, but they say, well, that moss is pretty nice. So that's grown on me like moss. Took forever. At first, you know, the other tree said, yo, what's that green stuff growing on you? Did you uh, step on a frog or something? They said, no, I'm a tree. I've been here, you know, 800 years. Oh, we well, got some green, like, uh, fur growing on you. What, on the east side or the west side or the north side or the south side? I don't know. I'm a tree. Do I look like I have a compass? I, I mean, I know, but I'm being humorous. Uh, but, yeah, I don't know what they, and you see, you say, well, I can't, I can't see it. What's it on my, my rear? Can't turn around. Uh, also, I'm a tree, so I don't really have uh, ocular input devices or whatever those humans call those things or birds have them too. But then, you know, I don't know if trees time passes like for elves or something, but then you say, wow, 
This has a lot of good properties. One, I got a whole nother biome going. Gives me somebody to talk to. Cooling. Nice to, you know, nice to touch. Uh, you know, leprechauns go and take naps on it uh, sometimes, which is, you know, interesting, good to watch and listen to. And sprites uh, do too, and some other forest friends. So, so that's cool. And it gives me some, you know, I don't know, it gives me some flair, like from that movie. You say, well, now I have, like, I got moss. Uh, so I don't know. So that's a plus. I don't know how we got there with moss. Uh, I really have no idea where that came from. Oh, I'll eventually, for, for most listeners, I grow on them <laughs> in, in, in their sense of taste. That's a metaphor. But for some people, they just don't like the podcast or me. You don't have to give it a second try, but I would say give it a few tries just to see if it helps. Because I make the show, I made the show 900 episodes. So that's probably somewhere maybe 18 to 20,000 hours I've worked just, just on the production side of the show. I'm just guessing. But that's probably around at least 18,000 hours. Uh, I make it, I put that effort in because I care, because I've been there. I know how it feels in the deep, dark night, tossing, turning, mind racing, trouble, getting to sleep, all those things. And the, so that's one reason. And the other reason is you deserve a good night's sleep. You deserve some rest, whether it's this podcast or something else, or like uh, fans, another sleep podcast you know, meditation, whatever it is, you deserve a good night's sleep. You deserve a place of respite, and the world needs that. We need you rested so that you can flourish and live your life more fully, and it just will be better for everybody uh, if, you know, if you if you got a little more space to be you. So that's why I make the show. So I really hope it can help you, but it doesn't work for everybody. So give it a few tries. I really appreciate you checking this show out. And then to everyone that's been here, whether you started the show in 2013, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, or 20, or you're listening in 2021 or 2022, what up? I hope it's uh, it's uh, sweet out there. You know, thank you so much. I'm so happy I get to help you, and thank you for helping me. I've grown and changed as a person uh, a lot. Uh, I've slowly, again, whatever's less than an electron microscope, improved uh, who I am. Because the example you as a listener set for me with your kindness and support. And this really does feel like one of those rare two-way streets. Uh, I guess like the tree and the moss. I, you could be the tree, I'll be the moss. Or you could be the moss, I could be the tree. And uh, where, wherever, I, and the, I guess if I was a tree, the, then my Nana would live up there. She'd be some sort of bird or something. Or squirrel. So I'm glad you're here. Again, appreciate your time. I work very hard. I yearn and I strive because I want to put you to sleep. And here's a couple of ways I'm able to do that for you twice a week. Hey, everybody, this is Scoots. Just wanted to tuck you in. You probably heard me talking about Sleep With Me Plus. It's based on how you listen to the show and 10 years of feedback. So we have a podcast with ad-free uh, episodes without the supporter zone, without the thank yous at the end. We have a podcast with story-only episodes, no music at all. We have another podcast, uh, depending on the tier, that has all intro episodes and on extra long compilations uh, of uh, themed episodes like TNG or Great British Bake Off or some of our stories. And then we have a bonus feed full of bonus content. And you could get a seven-day free trial by signing up at sleepwithmepodcast.com slash plus. And uh, if you're not in a position financially to support the show, totally understand that. We've got our referral program. It, people are earning uh, six months of ad-free and story-only episodes. Uh, we've had a couple of people earn three months, and I'm sure they're working their way to six months. I haven't checked today. And you could sign up for that, and you just have to share your link with people. It's uh, sleepinmepodcast.com slash refer, R-E-F-E-R. And you just have to refer them to the free podcast. Uh, if they uh, subscribe to the free podcast and a free podcast app, uh, you'll get credit. And yeah, as you uh, bring people in, three people, get you three months of ad-free story-only episodes, six people, six months. Uh, so uh, get over there and sign up for one of those uh, as I tuck you in. Thanks.